the 49ers rookie who will have the best season in your opinion. Uh, who's starting this one? Is this a me? No. Sure. Yes. This is my question. Oh, well, yeah, why don't you start? Yeah, why don't yeah. you start? Not your average sports kid. You haven't started yet. So, I'm going to say, honestly, Trey Sermon, because I okay. felt like as a player coming into it, looking at how he played, I would say Embry Thomas, but it is just a known fact that cor rookie corners in the NFL just don't do great. Like, look at Jeffrey Akuda from last year. He coming in was looking like he was going to play like a beast. He did not play great at all. But I feel like he could have another he could have a great year this year. It's just a known fact for, for rookie corners not to have a great year. So I would say either Ambry Thomas, Trey Lance, or uh Trey Sermon. But I'm gonna say Trey Sermon because Jeff Wilson is out. He can he, he now he's gonna be the second running back. He's gonna learn from Raheem Moster and he's gonna get you look at how Jeff Wilson played last year. It was Raheem would come in, probably get 15, 17 carries a game, and Jeff Wilson would get 10 to 8 carries a game. That's going to happen, and then when Moster gets taken out of the picture, that's Wilson who's getting those 15 carries. With Wilson out, Wilson out that's going to be Sermon, so he's going to be getting those 10 carries. He gets injured, it's 15 carries. Okay, um... Who a guy in next? the chat says, wasn't Okuda hurt? He was for like half of the season. He was. Yeah, that too. Also, someone in the chat saying that I'm a bad influence because you guys should be in school. Yo, it's June 1st, man. It's summer break. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Somebody also said, I mean, just by the way, just start laughing, okay? Trust me. Trust yeah, me. I, I make $10 if you laugh once yeah, in the show. But no pressure, man. No pressure. Ben, why don't you, you answer this question next? Who's, who's so, the honor? Which rookie? Um, that's a great Trey, Trey Sermon is a great answer, but this is a sleepo, sl sleeper. Mexic mm -hmm. the You know the guy that they recruited from Mexico? Yes. His name is uh, – is his name Alfredo Gutierrez? Yeah, something oh, like that. But yes. um, I like him a lot because the thing is, is, is it, doesn't he play right tackle? He does. Absolutely. So if he can get – like this is sleeper. This might not happen, but Mike McGlinchey, if he can get some healthy competition going there, I think – Maybe he has something in it in him that's a sleeper. And then I always love Demon Dora Lenore. I think he's okay. a great um slot player. But yeah, I, um Guerez or whatever his name is. I, I like him Gutierrez, a lot because he, he, he's gonna he's gonna give Mike McGlinchey a lot of competition to think about. And I think he could emerge. I mean, Daniel Brunsko was a um undrafted free agent, wasn't he? Yes. So there was there's different guys that um that we've had success with and it's not doesn't take much to beat Mike McGlinchey. <laughs> I he Mike. got he, like big Mike, Mike this year though. He is looking like big He guy. looks like me and Mike. Sorry, me and you're up. You're up, baby. You, I, have, okay. I have a question what? for Ben though. The only reason yeah. that only reason I get he's a sleeper, I agree with that, but the only thing is that they drafted Aaron Banks so that both of those, both of those, both Michael Glinchey and Aaron Banks, whatever Michael Glinchey is good at, Aaron Banks isn't so good at. Whatever Aaron Banks is good at, Michael Glinchey isn't so good at. That's why I think hmm. they drafted Aaron Banks. So then they could both help each other because they both played in Notre Dame together. They could both help each other develop and grow, and they could both work out in the off season. So that's why I only, the only reason I feel like he, I only reason I feel like Michael McGlinchey is gonna keep that spot, and he is a sleeper pick, but I don't think he's gonna get that much playing time unless McGlinchey gets injured. Because mm. they drafted Aaron Banks to work with McGlinchey and to be on that side with McGlinchey, so it's still a good <laughs> sleeper pick. I, I I haven't seen Alfredo Gutierrez play yet. I'm gonna be looking because he is huge. Uh, I mean, who you got? Who's your Who's your guy? Who's your rookie? I'm gonna go. With, I'm gonna go with Trey Lance. I'm gonna. I, I'm not. Okay. Not, okay. Be okay. Because okay. someone needs to say this. Now, All right, go ahead. Not, here's the reason I want to say Trey Lance. Jimmy Garoppolo's gonna get hurt again. Like, see, that's exactly what I was gonna say, man. Oh man, Jimmy Garoppolo's yes. gonna get hurt again. Like the fact that neither side are like, Gee, Jimmy Garoppolo, Jimmy Garoppolo's not gonna get hurt. Jimmy Garoppolo's gonna get hurt. He already I'm sorry. Tore his heel. Probably, he came back in yeah. Then the first yeah, week. he hurt his ankle in week yeah. two. Like I watched that week two game. I'm like, bro, how did you hurt your ankle that bad? Is your ankle made out of glass or something? Like, oh, oh man, like he gets bro, so so easily. He, Amin is the yeah, ultimate yeah. hater of Jimmy Garoppolo. Like, oh, yeah, there is yeah. no one higher. Is the jersey burned yet? Hey, by the way, in like a month, I'm getting a Trey Lance um, t-shirt. Nice. So I was going to go with Trey Lance, too, for the same exact reason. Go ahead, Amin. Go. It's going to be Trey Lance. Trey Lance is going to play, 
And like, like Mike McDaniel's coming, right? Mike McDaniel's an offensive coordinator. You could yeah. use Trey Lance how the how the ball the Ravens use Lamar Jackson. Either you can True. hand off the ball to Mostert, or you can hand off the ball to Sherman, or you could just run the ball with the Trey Lance could just run the ball. And that offense, yeah. the Lamar Jackson offense, in the Ravens that year was so good. No, no yeah. defense had any answers for that. That's the same thing you could run with Trey Lance. And Mike McDaniel can do that because he's the runoff the run coordinator, previous run coordinator. Yeah. Trey Lance is gonna play. Hope and Jimmy Cobble is gonna get injured. As a Niners fan, he's already has an injury history for two years. He's already been injured from his contract. He's already been injured. So the fact that yeah. people don't think that he's gonna get injured again is ridiculous to me because he is gonna get injured. It's, it's, it's history repeats itself. It's gonna happen. He's gonna get injured. Trey Lance is gonna get a start, and he's gonna play good. And he's gonna prove his doubters wrong. You pulled the shard all right there. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. No, I like it's a great. Answer. You pulled it. You took the words out of my mouth. I was gonna, I was gonna say Shardall for the same. Oh no, sorry. I was gonna say Trey Lance for the same reason. Shout out Shardall. I hope you're watching, man. You're you're a legend. Uh, so so look. Since you said Trey Lance, I'm gonna say someone different. I got two guys. I, I, I have a sleep. Let me do a sleeper. I'm gonna do it Ben's way. Sleeper, Elijah Mitchell. Elijah Ooh, Mitchell. Yes. Okay. Look, Trey Sermon's really good. He's going to get the first crack at it. But Trey Sermon's had injury issues too. He's he's had shoulder things. Um, he could get hurt. And then Elijah Mitchell's going to get his chance. And I've seen him. This guy is super fast, super duper fast. Um, he could be a, a new little wrinkle in the offense. Elijah Mitchell is the sleeper. And then the, the guy that I think is going to be in contention with Trey Lance. The question is, when is Trey Lance going to get in? You know, going to get in. If it's seven games, he won't be the rookie of the year for the Niners, or he could be. But I think there, I think Aaron Banks is going to start seventeen games. I think he's going to start from week one, and he'll be the only rookie who is a bona fide full season starter. And I think he's going to have good PFF grades. Not that that matters. I think he's going to have good tape. I think he's going to help Mike McGlinchey and have an overall positive effect on the offense. So I think like Aaron Banks is here. Trey Lance could outdo him. That's a great answer. Yeah, I love Aaron Banks. I'm actually soon I'm going to do a film breakdown of him. So Sweet. Uh, Rocky Boy 24 says, what made you guys become Niner fans? That's a good question. My dad was uh, – he used to live in Australia, and he used to uh, watch them every Super Bowl. He became a Niners fan, so I'm a Niners fan. And then I became a Niners fan, I think, when I was four. Okay. So. How about, how about okay. you, Not Your Average Sports Kid? So – uh, I have, I like that. Not, my dad liked the Niners as a kid. You know, he met, uh, Joe Montana on a plane ride once. So, I mean, we kind of had like a little bit of a likingness and then Pierre Garçon went there. So it started to grow. And I don't know if you remember him, Marshawn Lattimore. He got drafted in the yes. fourth round played a game. And then Debo came, who's like my all time favorite game cop. And then Javon Kinlaw came. So who's the first person you said that you cared about? Before uh, Lattimore, why do you why why do you like him? <laughs> he did. I thought he went to Mount Union. He did actually. Mm -hmm. I'll look it up huh, right now. Didn't know that. Yeah. Didn't know that. Anyway, uh, I mean, how about you? I became a Niners fan. Like I was, my dad. If you can't tell, my dad is Indian, so he doesn't like. He likes like cricket and all those other sports. He doesn't like football and basketball and those sports. So when I was a kid, like I would go to my cousin's house and my uncle's house, and I would sit there and watch Niners. I, did I would sit there and watch the Niners game, and I would also like play and run around. But I would watch the Niners game, and when like whenever I used to like sit in the like Pacific chair, the Niners would always be winning. And then as I grew older, <laughs> I just started liking the Niners. And I started watching the Niners, and I just became a Niners fan. Like I love the Niners. My cousins are Raiders fans, so I tended to go against my cousins to try to be a Niners there fan. There you go. So I just because you're an East Bay kid. Yeah. No, okay, real quick. So you guys are 13, 13, and 14. So when you guys, your first memory of the Niners, that's that's Kaepernick, Harbaugh, or, or after that? Yeah, I watched I watched Kaepernick. I watched, I think I watched Kaepernick. the first time I watched the Niners was when they had Alex Smith. Alex like Smith? Wow. 13. Okay. No, 13, 2014 now. was the first time Pierre I watched the Niners game. Pierre Garçon didn't, um, we didn't go. My, um, I think it was like my uncle or someone met him, so. Okay, okay, okay. I was just checking. Uh, yeah. Russell Button. There's a little. There's a, are you guys hearing a little feedback? Like a. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I don't know what yeah, that is. Echo, yeah, echo. Uh, sorry about that. Russell Button says, "Watch Trey Lance 2019 season. I saw a running back who threw the ball badly from time to time. Can we say Tim Tebow? He, no, he's better than Tim Tebow. No, he's Tim better than. I think Tim he's Tebow. better than Tim. He's better than Tim. And Tim Tebow's throwing form was horrible. Trey Lance at least has a pretty good throwing form, and Kyle Shanahan can mold into whatever he wants. Like previous cone phone caller, one said that Kyle, they might draft Trey Lance before the draft because then Kyle Shanahan can mold him 
into what he wants as a quarterback. And that's and Tim Tebow had a horrible throwing for him. So and and, and the Niners also have a good old line. The Broncos line wasn't the best, honestly. Mm-hmm. He's faster than Tim Tebow too. He's a better athlete than Tim Tebow. He's faster than Tim Tebow also. Matt H says the best part about being your ages is you didn't have to live through the Dennis Erickson and Mike Nolan era. I'm old, Grant. Feels me on this one. Yeah, from 2000 and basically three to 2011, it was dark. It was very, 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 very dark. The Niners went from being like the premier franchise to being the joke of the league. What's up? I have this um, book, and yeah, I read about that, and we were like five and 11, four and 12, like every year. Like they read about it in the years. book, guys. Yeah, man. I'm glad you guys only had experience in, in a book because that's pretty much how I stopped being a Niner fan. I was I was a huge fan when I was your age. Huge. Uh, Jeff Garcia, Steve Young. And then in high school, they just got worse and worse and worse. I went to college in L.A. and they were awful. And I just became a sports writer. And when I came back, I was like, yeah, I haven't really been rooting for you guys for, for a while. So uh, <laughs> we, we, all, we also felt the pain when we had Jim Tom Fula and Chip Kelly like – I would watch those games. And I was praying that we would win, but we never did. Chip Kelly Brett Lackey says, <clears throat> "Brett Lackey says these young men are crushing. You, they certainly are. You guys are doing great." Brett Lackey donated twenty five bucks. Thank you, Brett. Brett is a up and coming um, YouTube star himself. Have you guys seen Brett? He's yeah. Yeah. really yeah, good. I want to say he's really good. Uh, he just did went on with Vish, and Vish called me the other day. He's like, "Hey man, have you gone on with Brett?" I was like, "Yeah." He's like, "He's really good." Yes, he is. Brett, you're killing it, man. Keep going, man. Keep doing your thing. 